What's up .NET developers? Do you love building apps in VS Code, but didn't have all the experiences that you are accustomed to with Visual Studio or JetBrains Writer? Well, in this video, we're gonna go over some of the new things that are coming out in VS Code for .NET developers right here on learning C Sharp and .NET with Isaac. Hey folks, Isaac Levin here with another edition of Learning.NET and C Sharp with Isaac, where we're going to be going through all the news and new things that are coming out with C Sharp and .NET all the way up to .NET Conf in November of 2023. You know, please be sure to like, subscribe, follow, comment down below if you're liking this sort of videos or if there are other things that you'd like to see, um, because I'm going to be talking about the greatest things and the new things that are coming out in .NET 8 and C Sharp 12 for a bit. And one of the things I love talking about is the IDE and how we build .NET apps. So if you've been a .NET developer for a bit, you've probably used Visual Studio or JetBrains Writer to build your apps. And you know, in the situation where you need some other solution, maybe JetBrains Writer or Visual Studio, you, you can't run on your machine or licensing or what have you, you've used it VS Code. And right now it's a totally fine experience, but there are some differences between how you manage projects and solutions inside of VS Code versus Visual Studio or JetBrains Writer. And I think now there's been some uh, recent um, announcements that have came out to make the life of a .NET C Sharp developer in VS Code a bit more interesting. And that is uh, a new extension that's been built by the .NET team in Microsoft to basically bring some of the um, more familiar features of Visual Studio into VS Code. And uh, let's just take a look at what that experience is. I want to show you folks. So right here, I'm um, in a an empty version of Visual Studio Code. It's the Insiders Edition. Um, and I don't have any extensions here. So if I go over here to my extensions, as you can see, I don't have any. So with the new with this new extension that's come out or suite of extensions that's come out um we have the ability to have a better uh, .NET development experience so let's just search for what that is so it's the c sharp dev kit is what it's called so if you search for c sharp dev kit you're going to see and it's going to be this one right here official for microsoft right so let's go ahead and install this and what this is going to do is it's going to walk through and it's going to install a handful of things. So firstly, it's going to install a new language service provider or LSP for C Sharp. It's also going to add IntelliCode and it's also going to add the dev kit itself. So once that's actually done, let's actually pause and come back to when it's actually finished. All right, so now that it's done, let's actually take a look and see what some of the things that we can do in here is, right? So it, the quick start, it walks you through, and obviously this is in the marketplace and you can take a look at the GitHub project as, as well. But if I go over here and let's just actually close out of this, and if you see here in the installed section, there's actually four installed extensions now. So there's that new LSP, there's the dev kit itself, IntelliCode for the dev kit, and then an installed tool for extension authors in case you wanna build extensions. So. Once you have this, what actually is the experience that you have? So I don't have anything open. So if I go over here to my Explorer, something new shows up. So in the past, I've just been able to open up folders, but now it says you can open a folder containing a .NET project or solution, and you can create a .NET project. So let's actually click on that and see what happens. We click on that and it's going to come up with a little message that says the C Sharp dev kit extension requires a pre-release of the uh, C Sharp language provider. So let's actually click that upgrade button and then that's actually going to install that. And this does take a little bit of time. So let's come back when that's complete. All right. Now, so after it's done, it actually refreshes and reloads Visual Studio. So let's actually hop back over here, take a look at that. And as you can see here, so now we have the C Sharp and it's the pre-release version. So it says pre-release here and you can switch to the release version, which is probably not a best approach because it's probably going to break some stuff. So let's go back and click this create.net project. So let's do that and click that. And it's going to ask me, it's going to give me a drop down of all of the um, different Templates that we might be familiar with if we're a .NET developer. So you can create a Maui app or a Blazor app. Um, let's just do just a simple the ASP.NET Core uh, Web API. So we click on that, and that's going to ask me for a folder. So let's just uh, provide just um, a template folder. So like I have this empty folder here. Let's just click select folder here, and then it's going to say the name of the project. So let's just call uh, let's just call this uh, VS Code just because. So we'll click enter, and then what it's going to do is it's actually going to create that project for us, but it's gonna be in a new view. So as you can see here, I'm in my code view. I have a VS Code folder, and then I have that folder that has actually our stuff in it, and then a solution file. But if you look all the way down here, there's now a solution explorer 
uh, tab that we can actually take a look at. So let's minimize that and open that guy up and see what actually comes out of here. Let's close this as well. So as you can see, like this is a very similar experience to how we would have a solution explorer view inside of Visual Studio. And as you can see here, I can open up this individual project and then it has all those things here. So I can this is just a, a standard, um, this is the standard experience we would have if we were to build an app in Visual Studio Code. But if I right click on this project, for instance, I can build it, I can rebuild it or I can clean it. And if I build, it's gonna kick off that task to build, which is really cool. And then as you can see here, that, that successfully completes. And then if I wanted to as well, like I can right click and I can also debug. So I can start a new instance or start without debugging or step into a new instance. Unless if I click create start a new instance, this actually spins up the built-in debug experience inside of Visual Studio Code. And this is actually going to go through. It's going to pop up in a window that's on a different screen here. But as you can see here, so I have an app that's currently running in Visual Studio Code. It's And I'm able to debug into it. Really, really cool. And I think this is a this is a top level experience because debugging sometimes in Visual Studio Code could be challenging. And this this extension is already making it easier. So that's really, really awesome. And then there's you know a couple additional things that I think is pretty cool as well that, that's um, a part of this extension. And let's actually take a look at that as well. I think that the next one is if you have test unit tests or test cases or test projects in your solution. So you can actually manage them and have like this expanded test project or test explorer capability, right? So it's so actually right click on our solution at the solution level. We can add a new project. So if we add a new project, let's actually scroll down and there's actually test projects that we can have as well. So let's just have like an end unit project and then I'm going to give it a name, super default name like test project and then I'm going to specify um, the default directory. So let's choose that and then it's going to create a test project. So now we have a test project as well. And that's really awesome. So as you can see here, we have a usings class and then we have, just close this out, we have some tests as well. But if I go in here, there's actually a couple of cool things I can also do, right? So if I click on this, I can build it. So let's just build it. And then once it's actually built out, we have the ability to actually test as well, which is really, really awesome. So let's actually see what that experience looks like. So once that's done, we go into here, can scroll down now there's like a little test arrow that shows up right so what happens if i click on that test i can actually click that and it's going to spin up like a test explorer like the built-in test explorer that comes in visual studio code and as you can see here we have all of our tests and this is in a similar way that what we would see if we were to do it inside of visual studio and i then we can go one step even further so i can set a breakpoint there and then i can right click that and i can debug my test and it'll actually step into my code and actually see that that assert pass is actually happening Again, this is a really simple example. It shows the built-in uh, debugging experience for test pro for test projects as well, which is pretty awesome because it gives us the ability to do this in Visual Studio Code, but also because it's an extension, like we could do this in a code space, for instance, a GitHub code space, which I think would be a really awesome experience as well. And I'm just excited because this is like the first version of it. There's gonna be more versions of this extension that come out. It's gonna add more and more exciting features to VS Code to be able to build amazing .NET apps. And I think with that, the biggest thing that I want folks to do is is play around with it, right? It's free to use. All you got to do is go into Visual Studio Code and install it. It's going to work on the regular version of it, uh, Visual Studio Code as well as the Insiders Edition, which is what I just showed. And that's it. Let me know if this sort of thing is cool for you, if you're excited about this new extension, if you build VS uh, apps in VS Code already and you this experience is going to make or this extension is going to make your experience better. So let me know. I'm excited to hear from you. And that's it for me. Take care.